Hey friends, and welcome to another Cascade Gaming Path of Exile video. So, you know the rules by now. No guides, no walkthroughs, no cheats, no, um, no googling anything. We're basically taking help and advice as is given from the community and nothing else. So you guys have given me some fantastic tips so far, and you'll be very happy to note that we've got the Quicksilver Flask back on the bar, and left click is move only, I figured it out. So be really proud of me. Yes, it's basic stuff, but we figured it out. Okay, so where we left off last time, we had wandered through the prison. We were still looking for the caged fruit, um, but we found like this really cool labyrinth thing. So it's like, and the in-game guide, which apparently I'm, I'm allowed to use, apparently. <laughs> Um, according to tips from the community. Um, so apparently it's like you complete a, a set of them and then eventually you get to do like some super fantastical um, like quest labyrinth thin thing. I don't really know how it goes, but uh, yeah, that's what, that's kind of where we left off last time. So we were, we were, we were wandering and we were kind of trying to find where everything was. So let's go back to the prison and see if we can't find this this horrible caged fruit ah uh, is the did that just say something something in this area have i completely um oh okay all right so all the exploring we did last time it's now unexplored sweet okay yeah th there we go the lord's labyrinth the, so this trial of ascendancy thing we had a look at that it was cool oh this is a real pain because we just fully cleared out the prison before and yeah just as i thought everything bloody respawns how irritating okay i've got to get used to using my my keys again oh my gosh how frustrating oh there's a Doom Slasher? They look, they look scary. Alright, where's my thing? Let's press up. Doom Slasher. Okay, so, so I've been told this is just a named mob. Um, it's not like, it's not a super big bad, it's just a named mob. So, see, there you go. Look, I've successfully implemented um the loot filter i hope you guys are really proud of me um yeah okay so yellow is not is not an elite it's just a named mom okay this is kind of i'm you know kind of still trying to understand everything like as it as i'm going along um so i'm guessing that like things that are highlighted and stuff are like that could be really good but things that aren't as highlighted aren't as good i don't know i'm i'm really terrible with loot filters so because that's that's not glaringly obvious hey mana flask decent all right so what i really want is to find the second layer of this prison the second level aha no wait is that just the hang on let me do my little doobie. Okay, so that's just that. Okay. I saw the icon on the map and I was just like, oh, is that, does that mean that um, I'm close to, I'm close to being um, at the quest, like the quest objective being like the next level up, like the next layer of the prison maybe is a better way to describe it. Oh, is this like another, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come on. All right. Speed is life. Speed is life, as you told me. Ah, uh, Chatters, we fought him last time. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry if this is like um, if this is boring now, because we've we've already fought this this bad enemy that we did not like very much, and I think he gave me a bit of a run for my money last time too. The good old Chatters. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so let's get some of this health back. And yeah, so let's 
just gosh that's a really slow attack when you don't combine it with um like anything else ah oh, is it slow because i'm an idiot yes i feel like that's true all right let's have a look see if we can't uh clatter some of the clatter elsewhere Jade Chopper. I feel... That's not gonna help. I'm being very silly. I'm trying to sort of navigate Tetris at the moment. Uh, so this is an... So we want to identify some of these. Yes, let's identify that. Um, excuse me? A ghoul? Not seen one of those before. Um, okay, so what do we have? These maelstrom poor goat hide gloves? So we need more decks to put those on. But they seem pretty decent. Alright, let's use our town portal scroll. And we'll come back. We'll offload some of this stuff to the bank because I, I don't think I want to get rid of much of it just yet so um yeah all right so we're just throwing stuff in the stash we're not going to i like i might just like wait until like right at the end and um, then I will go through and and go through all the gear that I've picked up. That might be the easiest way to do it, because I think otherwise it's just going to be a whole heap of me going, oh, what's in here? Oh, what's in here? What's in here? What's this? What's that? And just changing around my gear. So you guys don't need to see that. Uh, so I'm thinking like this way and then that way, unless unless this map changes every single time you do it which would be very cool I would like that I'd be totally down for a map that changes every single time it, it looks like it's way different than last time it's full of things of wisdom it is it's completely different from last time we were here oh that's so cool sorry I'm just I love like new procedurally generated maps you know, it's like, it's like, hey, what you thought was in in this place last time is not in the same place this time. Oh God, that makes it way less of a snore fest. It it definitely gives me the the, the D three vibe. I think this is like around the same age as D three, right? Yes, no. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's about about ten years about ten years old this game. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we knew what we wanted a lot better in games ten years ago. Oh, that's coming up as green. So I wonder if it's just green because it's unidentified. Possibly. But either way, that's cool. Stop just hitting random stuff. Diabolus of the void. Rah. So what I'm getting from this is that he's a bit scary. Okay. So we've got a gnarled branch. That looks like it's interesting. That's just like a two-handed stave, isn't it? Now we've come back in the same that. We've come back in a circle. Let's go this way. Where the map looks empty. We'll just put up our little totem there. Um, I need to get some more strength so that I can keep popping off the totems. Um, like, because I need to upgrade the gem. You guys know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Actually, more to the point, I hope I know what I mean. This looks, this looks really prison cell 
ish kind of vibe. So maybe this maybe this is where Brutus is. I could be totally wrong. Because I swear I cleared out the whole area, like the whole bottom area of the map last time. Oh, I need more mana. I'm not even paying any attention to my health and mana. Um, I'm actually starting to get cold. <laughs> yes, in Australia, we are getting into winter and I get really cold. Okay, so this is the, the, court of the Okay, so this is the trial of ascendancy thing. Which I don't want to do yet. But we've we've got that on the map now. So good for us. Uh let's clear out oh, serrated arrows too quiver. Much clutter. Oh, I've got too much clutter again already. Oh jeez, I picked up some really big things. We definitely want those. Maybe we don't want like a, I don't know, let's um, use the scroll of wisdom to identify the yellow things, because I don't know if that gives us, if that's like, um, alright, just hang hang with me while I, while I puzzle this out, okay? I'm thinking, in my head, that if you have an unidentified yellow item, they just kind of give you like a basic price for it, but if you identify it and it's really good, then maybe they'll give you more. I know that seems logical to me. I could be completely wrong. I'm most likely completely wrong, but I kind of like that idea. Ooh, I kind of like this, um, this two-handed Stevie thing. So, 11% spell damage. Alright. This is something I need to think about. It's just all of the gem sockets that I'm going to lose if I swap those over. So it's like... It's like the extra fire damage over time, which is great for this, for this flame wall. And this has got a 25% chance to ignite enemies, so there's a 25% chance that there's going to be some fire damage over time and I've been told that I should really stick to like one um, spell type so I've decided that I'm going to stick more to fire just because if you've watched me over my d4 videos or even if you used to watch me on twitch my my d3 days you know that I'm obsessed with everything doing fire or even twitch when I was doing well classic because I was all all in on my fire mage um so like that that's where that's where my brain's going my brain's immediately going to set everything on fire probably not the best place for my for my brain to go but there it is um all right so hey guys i'm back um i need you guys to answer me very seriously where has my black cardigan gone? I need a clear answer. The first person who admits that they pinched it. I'll be lenient. But if I have to find out on myself, you guys are in trouble. Oh, oh my, okay. Jeez, these guys look like they mean business. Alright. Frost guard, eh? So we definitely want those those fire spells. It looks like there's something crazy going on just over here. I swear I clicked on somebody else that was like a different colour. Okay, so I just, I really don't understand what the deal is with those um these like, it just looks like you know, you defeat, like, the magic on the... Not the magic, like, the glyph on the ground. And then you pick up that magic for a temporary amount of time, like a shrine or a buff. Am I wrong? Let me know. Oh, ew, spiders. Oh, hey, we leveled up. Nice. Um, Warden's Quarters. I feel like that's where we need to go next. Um, everyone who has 
followed me based on my Diablo um, gameplay, we will keep all of you. You're, you're all fantastic. Um, even though some of you might like to do the occasional shitstir now and then, that's fine by me because I'm in Aussie and like our sec our second language is shitstirring, so you're all good by me. You know, if you if you're keen to have a bit of have a little bit of a joke with me, you're all good. We'll 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 hold up we'll hold on to you because you know. I think every now and then we can all do what we do with a little bit of levity um, in our in our gaming. You know, we can all do it, all do with a little bit of light-hearted teasing. Sawbones. Okay, do some of these guys like reuse the same names? Because I swear we just ran into a dude called Sawbones, or maybe I'm just imagining things. Or maybe it was a different kind of something with, with bones in the name. Oh my gosh, you guys. The, the loot filter is so good. <laughs> I'm having such a great time with the loot filter. It's making things just way, way easier. So it's like, it's kind of like, eh, you know, if you want it, you can kind of pick it up. But, you know, it's like, I'll just kind of side eye you a little bit. I feel like the game is literally telling me it's going to side eye me if I pick up certain things. And you know what? I'm so here for <laughs> I'm so here for it. The game's just like you can pick that up if you want to, but you know, just saying that's that's your choice and all. I'm all for autonomy. Here you go. So, if you're keen on some variety Twitch streaming, Kigatsuo, so I'll spell it out for you. It's K I G A T S U O. He's a super, super nice person, very, very friendly, does a variety gaming, does um, music, like music streams as well. So they're a very talented DJ. And uh, yeah, so you can find all sorts of, all sorts of cool things. So met Kiga playing classic wow uh which was brought you here sister to the oh. one place where your talents are free to grow and be truly fearless excuse me so i've so i've been told that apparently the witch is like one of the evilest character classes but i would i would like to go to that person still the Karui barbarians all right This, this music is very interesting. Should the need arise, we shall retreat through Prison's gates, raising my barricades behind us. I'm feeling like this may need to be broken into two parts. Foul times demand heroic feats, and through my arts, our Lord Brutus will arise anew to defend us. As a dry sand is quenched in thirst with Kaguri blood, and our mighty warrior delivers his judgment upon them. Okay. They didn't seem very nice, but this this music is scary. Oh my god, there's like a path of blood. Why do I have to follow the path of blood? I mean, I don't have to, but why am I following the path of blood? Alright, I feel like I need to be really on the ball. I feel like this this Brutus is is happening. Order of protection. Okay. My loyal Declan. Give our lady piety your absolute support and watch you with absolute scrutiny. It is much too to to Oh! Brutus Lord Incinerator. You know what? I can incinerate too, bro. Uh, speed is speed is survival. Speed is survival. I remembered. I remembered. Oh gosh. Okay. Brutus Lord Incinerator. Oh, wow! He can hit hard. Get 
Yeah, come on, let's maybe get some mana back up. <gasps> oh, okay then. You think you're the butcher. He thinks he's the butcher from Diablo, you guys. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. I can do better than this. Let me embrace you, bro. What? Yes! Sorry. Cass is a little bit excited for killing the big bad baddie. Wait, she, did, she, did I just say... Wait, wait. Wait. Had you been my creation, you've not had, you'd not have fallen so easily. Am I bad because I'm a necromancer? Am I bad because I'm a necromancer? No, no. Let's let's. Right. Death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end his suffering out of like avarice or mercy? I ended it because. He tried to kill me, and you guys told me to kill him, and I thought I was helping everybody. While we live, we are blessed. Like, come on. I thought of... Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off dead, you better I have better one have one of these for luck. Oh, cool, a new gem. Alright, and we do have a slot. Do we want... We do... Okay, so we wanted to stick... With the same up oh, flame dash this must be the one that you guys were telling me about flame dash well it's a it's a no-brainer isn't it in goes flame dash now um so thank you guys so much for watching um i had a lot of fun delving through the prison and sort of unearthing a few surprises um coming to coming to terms with like a few i guess new new thoughts um thinking thinking about things a bit of a different way and also being able to implement some of the fantastic advice that you guys have given me um anyway i hope you'll stick around for the next video in which i am hoping to go through that um weird labyrinth thing so the the, the labyrinth challenge thing i don't know whatever it is that's what i'm gonna look at doing next so if you have any hints or tips or tricks for me please let me know down in the comments below um i'm loving hearing all of your advice and seeing all the support it means like the absolute world to me and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video so mwah, love you guys lots and i will see you next video tomorrow bye for now